Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord. Hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies, you must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I will cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. Ah, they've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah, you take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Keep going! Redcoats, what are they doing here? I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. To the left, Connor! Oh, a destination is just up ahead. Redcoats, what are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. To the left, Connor! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot.
Here we are. Best to continue on foot. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Redcoats. What are they doing here? They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. To the left, Connor! Does any of this look familiar to you, Connor? We have gotten lost somehow! Dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! Way, Connor.
Keep going! We can't afford to be discovered, Connor. Hide! I've made this crossing a dozen times. Why is everything suddenly so foreign? Pressure must be getting to me. Be on the lookout for redcoats. Is everything all right, my friend? Is everything all right, my friend? Get back on the horse, Connor. Be on the lookout for redcoats. Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! To the right, Connor! To the right! Is everything all right, my friend? Connor? Is everything all right, my friend? Should dismount for this. Be quicker and quieter.
This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! We need to lose them. Well, I suppose this gives you the element of surprise. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We've got to shake those red coats. If you insist on fighting the color, ensure you win. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. I suppose that's one way to deal with the situation. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor! Faster! We need to get away from them! That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Left! To the left, Connor! Excellent! We are right on course! This way, Connor! Yes! This is it! This is the way! Might be safer if we approach the houses on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Devil, is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. 
You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. You damn rebels! Lay down your arms and disperse! What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. We will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, or now. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. <coughs> Go on now! Run! They're taking prisoners! Run! The red coats are taking captives! They're over there! No! Head for the hills! Damn it! Let's get out of here! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. 
you don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Sir! Mount the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Wait for my signal. Fire! Go! Wait for my signal. Shoot! Wait for my signal. Fire! Hold fire! Make ready! Open fire! for the signal. Shoot! Wait for the signal. Open fire. Wait for my signal. Open fire. Hold fire! Fire! Prepare yourself. Fire now! Prepare yourselves. Fire now! Make ready! Hold fire! Fire! Make ready! Fire! Hold fire!
Make ready. Open fire. Make ready. Open fire. Wait for the signal. Go. Hold fire. Shoot. Prepare yourself. Shoot. Prepare yourself. Wait for my signal. Shoot! Make ready! Prepare yourselves. Open fire. Wait for my signal. Make ready! Open fire. Prepare yourself. Go! Hold fire! Fire! Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony 
of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited I to the task. I beg leave to assure really? the Congress that I as can no think of pecuniary several. consideration could have Charles tempted me Lee. to have accepted this arduous employment at the do expense I know of my you? domestic ease I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I Come, Connor, there's someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those, like that, I doubt not they the will last discharge, thing we need is and that is all I desire. to blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Still here, are you? I was just wondering. What happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message.
hold and stay your bit. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Up ahead. You can't miss him. I don't care much for your excuses, gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery! I want it. Back to Bunker Hill! Good morning, gentlemen! General Putnam! What? I am looking for John Pitcairn. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced. Oh, that poor guy might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral.
Panther. And you tremble. They need better numbers, you say. Better weapons. Better training. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion! We believe! So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire until you see the whites of their eyes. I'll be dead. <laughs> you did it. So that was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still, such words have carried us thus far. And what a pitcon. He's left Boston. As I said, he would. He set up camp on Molten Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have the chance to direct approach. That's twice today you proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March hare, son. I expect an apology on my return.
you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do you not know think we ask the same question of the British? These things take time. And it would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now because of that. Så har ju generellt när att tänka om det sett att gå. Det ni och när jag har tänkt om det sett att gå. General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> But it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these, and then your words may have some merit.
Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? 
This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. Gods! Let's put them bills away. The guard is on to us. How? What happened? Dan Shockey called me out. Brought the guards, but I gave him the slip. Boss is gonna be mad. Not so mad as if I'd gotten caught. Besides, we've got most everything we need for the job now anyway. Best go tell him. I'll warn the others. of the latest sacred choral works from several Vienna-based composers at St. Paul this coming Saturday. While expressing sincere condolences to the Brown family, Mr. Roberts would like to remind the city youth not to play near the manufactory buildings.
wants everyone back to shop. Says we strike too much. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, nothing. And then a body. Keep our distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who enter. We'll be heroes, the ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Huh? Revolution. A bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. There's some fool filled their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to provide a cold, cruel world. <laughs> What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! Oh! 
my money. Be still. You will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. There ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You... You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! <laughs> what for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. Was just a joke. Yeah? Well, then 
wasn't very funny. Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit! What are you looking at, half-breed? You not understand English? That it? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. 
Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. He is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the Warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die.
Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pits to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization. Thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt anew. The worst part is that the good people of New York are forced, quite literally, to pay for your crimes. Where do you think the money for this prison came from, hmm? For your outfits? Our wages? Resources wasted because you refuse to contribute to society. You would rather dwell at its margins, living off the hard work of others. We'd be doing everyone a favor. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. You there. Stop. You come back here. No, you don't. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know, beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. 
He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> Those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <laughs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham saw to that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Give a cry when you need us. 
Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! live to see another day <sighs> shame i want answers why did johnson try and buy my people's land why was pitcairn targeting adams and hancock what purpose would washington's murder have served why does your order support the british how should i know the templars lee the big man hatham they asked the money they asked the power that's the reason i threw him with them that's the only reason Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. 
And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration... We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside.
cara tá Copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. Preciso ver seu bilhete. Bilhete, por favor. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Bilhete, por favor. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Security's headed toward you. Look out! That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Você viu este homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, Silvi. You can track the guards more easily by using eagle vision. Great. I've set up a checkpoint.
That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Você viu esse homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, Silvi. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Lot of security. Make sure they don't see you. Lending with the crowd's your best bet. Track the guards more easily by using eagle vision. Hmm, if you're worried about. 
without being spotted, there's probably a way around security. Don't let Great. Me I've set up a checkpoint. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Quick, Desmond. Or look Hi. your way around it. Blend or do something. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. Se não me deixar entrar, vou perder um prego. Temos que verificar sua identidade. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
So, what can I do for you, Mimir? Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there.
Connor, any last words? Wait, a poor choice. <laughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he'd stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my look. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. 
Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. But what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. thanking me when you hear what he's got a plan. About time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? Of <laughs> course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard, trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all? All right, I'm here. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Once you've dealt with these lies, meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave? Now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable.
Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off-duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement?
That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Lunge to! Get him! Don't let them escape! Get it! The Indian too! Take him down! <laughs> that one! And he's half free! Surround them! And 
Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. Get out of here. You don't say. Get out of here. You don't say. See if you can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we?
I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. It's almost as though you want him to escape. Perhaps someone with more experience should take the wheel. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! It's almost as though you want him to escape. Hurry, son. We won't get a second chance at this. Given the way you sail. How is it you came to captain a ship, given the way you sail? Take the wheel. It's almost as though you want him to escape. No, I need his... Oh. 
boat. The cargo must be saved.
You confuse me, son. First you insist we spare his ship, but now you seek to blow it up. What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you. Working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the quiet! Came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Yonder. A waiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. 
they reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path for life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be Zawanios kina nek ti ahne te kantu ti dogaske. You did well. This passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Atham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
the one they sent We need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, little help here. Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
We'll bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come on, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. The New York Mercury! Get it here! 